What's good? It's your boy, Ron, man. Hold on, let me fix my shit. Looking like T.I. Anyway, <clears throat> what's good, man? Uh, uh, good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday on this December. You know, it's gloomy outside, man. It's cold. I don't got no socks and shoes on. I just got flip-flops and feet, man. And my toes are freezing, brother. Let me explain it to you. I need socks on right now or some shoes. What am I doing? What am I doing? But anyway... We about to get into this shit, man. We gonna talk this shit, man. Today's topic, man, is fat niggas and drip. Fat niggas and drip, man. The two don't go together, man. It's too many problems, too many issues, too much material, man. But yeah, man, you know, putting on drip really put things into perspective, man. You start to realize how you built, man. You know, you start to realize that don't nobody give a fuck about you or your comfort level, you know, if you can sit down, if you can run, you know. You you need to be in shape if you want to have the drip, man. You know, because I remember a point of time where where skinny jeans, you know, and skinny attire was the shit, man. You know, they had the shirts fucking tight, man. They cut in like this, bro. You know what I mean? Your pants cut in like that, bro. You know what I mean? If you had if you have if you have hips, you realize you have hips. You didn't even know you had hips until you tried to put on some skinny jeans. The motherfuckers wouldn't make it past your knees, man. You know, you put them on and they on. You feel me? You hot than a motherfucker, man. Because as a fat nigga, as, let me explain something. As a fat nigga rocking anything skinny, man, it's a lot of heat <clears throat> building up in those jeans, man. You understand me? Because the material has to be so fucking thick in order for you to put on those jeans, man. Because they, if, if not, they're going to just explode, man. You know what I mean? The, the seams, they can't take it, man. You ever seen a pipe just burst? They got the little stream of a steam popping out. It's about to be a problem, man. That's what happened when niggas put on jeans, man. Them jeans are not thin, man. Them jeans are very, very thick. And at the time, if you get a slim cut, man, them jeans are very, very tight, man. You know what I mean? Especially if you can get them over your hips, man. You know what I mean? That's not just all leg. As, as niggas... The leg is considered the leg, man. But if you a fat nigga, man, and you trying to put on drip, you all of a sudden have hips, man. You have hips and ass, man. You know? People be concerned about fat niggas sagging, man. Like, yo, it's 2020. You know? Niggas don't sag no more. You know what I mean? But if your drip <clears throat> cannot go over your ass, you have to sag, man. You know what I mean? It's no way them pants getting over your ass, man. They can't be skinny all the way through, man. You understand what I'm saying? They have to be regular pants at the top. Anything over, I would say, you know, anything over like maybe a 40, 40 or a 42, man, you not getting them over your ass, man, if they skinny cut. I'm telling you, you got to go two sizes higher, man. The motherfuckers is going to be baggy and tight at the same time, man. It's some bullshit. But that's, that's what it, these are problems that fat niggas have, man. You ever notice fat niggas be dressing terrible, man? And you finally see a fat nigga that's dressed in some swag. You be like, man, that nigga spent some money, man. He went somewhere where we didn't go. You know, we went to the regular spots. We went to the spots where they stop at extra large. You feel me? They don't have our shit. Our shit don't look the same like that, brother. They only got one. You feel me? It's one pair of jeans. You fuck that jean up. You lose that jean. You no longer have jeans anymore, brother. You understand what I'm saying? That's what happens when you a fat nigga, man. Fat niggas trying to get dressed, man. Have you ever went to a store and they didn't have anything in your size? Hmm? You ever went to the store and they didn't have anything in your size? You go ask them, you say, hey, what's the biggest size you got? And that size ain't your size, brother. You understand what I'm saying? You go there, you say, hey, I need a triple X. They say, hey, we stop at extra large. You got to leave the store, man. It ain't shit you can buy in there, man. You ever tried to go to H&M? Hmm? They got a gang of shit in there you like. They got jackets, they got socks, they got shoes, brother. The motherfuckers stop at a very small size. And they tell your ass, nigga, you need to go order it so that you can have it, brother. We don't carry that shit. We don't have it in stock, man. It's taking up too much space, man. You understand what I'm saying? We need space. We can have, for the for one of your pair of jeans, we can have three pair of jeans. You know what I mean? We can't have that in our inventory, man. You fucking up our inventory trying to come in here looking for these absurd sizes, man. You too big to try shit on, man. You know? 
We got a 3X t-shirt, man. You come in here, you want to try the t-shirt on. Now the t now the t-shirt don't look right no more. You know what I mean? You put your triple X head in the goddamn uh 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 a uh, one X uh uh hole for the t-shirt, and now the shirt don't even look right no more, man. I can't even fold the bitch no more. It's sticking up now because you wanted to try the shit on. We are not gonna carry your size, man. And it's very, very discouraging, man. You know what I mean? All online ordering has not made it easier for niggas that's overweight, man. Because as an overweight nigga, outside of the shit just looking like it looks in the picture, man, it needs to fit. Because because oversized sizes are very, very deceptive. Because once again, whatever the cut is, if it's over a, a, a large or extra large or, you know, just a regular nigga size, they don't cut them motherfuckers the same, man. Ain't, ain't a whole lot of oversized models, right? So who's telling these people what the cut should be, you know? And when you're overweight, heard the issue. When you're overweight, you don't just grow. You dig what I'm saying? You don't just go from a nigga this size and then you just a nigga this size. And the dimensions is the same, man. Shit is different. You might be big up here. You might be big down here. You might be small up here. You might be small down there. You might be big, small, big. And that shit don't fit. You understand what I'm saying? Unless it's thick. You want to get thick material when you are oversized nigga. Thick, thick material shit. Thick material shirts. Thick material pants. You need thick material soles on your shoes because they will crush and crumble, man. They will crush and crumble, man. And you'll be looking crazy out here, man. You know what I mean? And then, and then if you put the shit on and you fuck it off, you take it off. It's no longer wearable, man. It's no longer wearable, man. You put so much stress on the seams and the material that the shit just don't even look right no more, man. You know what I'm saying? You take it off. When you take the shirt off, fat people, <clears throat> have you ever taken the shirt off and just laid the shirt down on the bed? You ever been getting ready to go somewhere? And you like, man, I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'm going to try some shit on before I go. You try some shit on, man. You know, you put the shit on. You like, man, I right. taking the shit off fucks it up <clears throat> more than wearing it. Taking the shit off fucks it up more than wearing it, man. Once the shit on is on, you know what I mean? Don't, don't take a shower or a bath. And then put the shit on, man. Try to take it off, man. Once that shit is on, it's fucking on, man. You know what I mean? You 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 need to put on all your undergarments before you put that shirt on, man. Because if you have to take that off, man, it's not going to look right. You're going to have to earn it. you going to have to do a whole lot of shit to it to fix it, man. You got to stretch it. You got to put... And let's talk about new shirts, man. Why are new shirts always so fucking tight around the stomach, man? You know, you be standing there and, 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 and the shirt wants to rise up, man. The shirt don't want to be on your belly, man. You understand me? The shirt does not want to be on the belly. Even if it is your size, man. You know, I remember vividly going into Macy's, man, and looking at the INC section, man. That's they shit that ain't name brand, but it's supposed to be name brand quality, man. Name brand designers are supposed to have made that shit that they got, man. But it ain't got the name brand prices on it, man. That shit. Don't last, brother. You understand me? You put one of them shirts on that got swag, it got a couple holes, couple ribs, couple zines. That shit is not gonna last, brother. Do not spend the bag on that shirt, man. Fat niggas, if if you see fat niggas normally, they have polos on. You know, polos was a was a fat nigga thing for a while. And then everybody was like, man, I wanna wear polos. But polos was a fat nigga thing for a while. Because polos were thick. You understand me? Polos were made specifically for fat niggas, man. Because, take, check me out. You had a thick material. You can wear some shit under it. You understand me? If the collars around the, the arms was thick, you didn't, the collar around the neck was thick. You feel me? You can unbutton that bitch if you get hot. You understand me? And you can rock that bitch all the time. Because whatever it was made off of was thick, man. And that's the moral of the story, man. Get you something thick, you dig? Holla at your boy, man.